welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. Side. Let's go side. It is so cold out, Bubby. So do your business quickly. Go outside. Do business. Hello, everyone. It's like 20 degrees out right now. Um, and I just got home from work. I have not vlogged at all today. Um, so we're going to fit in as much as we can. Look at him. I said get you. I said get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. He wants nothing to do with it. Um, but I haven't vlogged at all today. And um, I just got home from work. So he is so excited. Look at him. Are you excited? excited. I hope that you are all off to a wonderful start of your week. Uh. Getting the trees turned on. Uh, apparently tonight we have the potential for like a decent amount of snow. Who knows if that will actually shake out. And Steven isn't home yet, but uh, have some things to do. Let me get my coat off, let me get situated, and then we'll chat. We actually have some things to open as well. Look how beautiful this garland is. Oh, I love it. And then all of our little lanterns are lit. Did you have a busy day today? Did you have meetings? Were you busy? Did you get a raise? Can I retire? Did you earn so much money that I can retire? A package for Steven, that's a rarity. They're always for me. But I do have some packages. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the mail. I got was a new travel size Amber Nargile um, from Hermes. It is one of my favorite fragrances. I actually was wearing it today. It smells like butter rum. I don't know if you've ever, my grandmother used to make butter rum cakes. It smells like a butter rum cake. It is so beautiful. And then I have no clue what this is, so let's go ahead and open up this one. Oh, and this is the Times or Tim's uh, sachet I was telling you about for the car. I'm really excited about that. Um, I love their Fraser fur. So that is what I got in the mail today. Um, P.S. I've gotten into Zoella's uh, Vlogmas and I'm completely obsessed with it. I've watched so many of them now. I really don't know what this Vlogmas is going to be. I am going to wrap some gifts. Um, I have gifts that I need to give friends, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and open some advent calendars. I don't know what I'm singing. I'm making up the words as I go. I can't find 11, there it is. This Rituals um, advent calendar is so worth it. Next year, if you have the opportunity, pick it up. It goes on sale in October. And what did we get today? We got a calming bed and body mist. I'm gonna use that tonight. All right, day 11 for David's Tea. Alpine Punch. Put that in. There is 11. Let's go ahead and see what is in there. It is a cologne and it's called Mandarin Glacial. I don't know. 
I didn't really look at it. Day 11. It's gonna be a fragrance. Tamdeo. Oh, that drives me crazy when something reminds me so clearly of a scent or a memory and I cannot place it. I cannot place it. Let me go ahead and look up the notes for that because it's very familiar. Let's go ahead and look it up. So like I was saying, I got like addicted to Zoella's Vlogmas and I watched like every single one and on it she was uh, doing puzzles. So I ordered a puzzle last night to work on during Vlogmas. Um, and I'm s weirdly excited about it. Um, puzzles used to be something my grandmother used to do like every Christmas and all winter long. So when I saw her doing a puzzle, I was immediately taken back to those memories. So I hopped online immediately and bought a puzzle, but her Vlogmas is so good. I'm loving it. All right, so Temdeo from Diptyque. I'm probably saying that wrong. You don't have to correct me. It is sandalwood and cedar, Italian cypress, rose, spices and amber. I definitely got that out. And white musk. It was very musky. Um, so I don't know what's happening today. So we opened advent calendars. We opened some mail. I meant to share this in yesterday's Vlogmas video. A lot of you mentioned like how warm our house feels and how cozy. And I wanted to give you a tip for the holidays on a way to make your kitchen feel really warm and really cozy. And there are two things I would think about when doing this. Add a rug that isn't traditionally in a kitchen. So like this printed runner, it's not like a kitchen mat or a kitchen-y rug. It's very much like something you would find throughout the house. It automatically makes the kitchen feel a lot different. And then my other tip would be lighting is so important. And one way to warm up a kitchen is by adding a lamp under your cabinets or some other form of warm lighting like a lantern. That vibe of seeing that lamp just gives the kitchen a really warm vibe. So I just got done wrapping gifts for two friends who have A as their initial. And one thing I love to do to personalize gifts, plus it reminds you of who it's for without having to put like one of those tags or stickers on it, is to buy ornaments with their monogram on it. And I just think it's really cute. I really love this one with the gold A that contrasts with the silver. This bare wrapping paper is from Target as well as the bows. I just think they both look really, really cute, but I'm really obsessed with this one. This is just gonna be one of those nights where Vlogmas is not interesting. And because of that, I am going to cut it short tonight, just simply so I can get it uploaded and to you in a reasonable time. And I wanna to end tonight by sharing something that came up on Instagram that I was tagged in and I think it says a lot, not just for this time of year, but just life in general. It was actually posted by On Bottle Genie. I'll see if I can get it to show. And she had this wonderful quote that says, in a world where you can choose anything, choose kind. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and read the comment. And it says, kindness is everything. The one quality I want to be known as is she was kind to everyone. I've been watching a YouTuber's Vlogmas and he made a profound reply to a comment a subscriber made about he was a better person than said subby because he gave a Salvation Army bell ringer volunteer at Starbucks Coco. The subby said she doesn't give the Salvation Army the time of day because the organization is anti-LGBTQ and Christopher's response was as quoted. I know this, but I have decided that no matter what, I will be kind to everyone. The main problem I see in the world is that we can't be kind to people who think differently than us. This is how we should all behave, act, and react, and the world would be a better place. I have eight different people from all walks of life in my chair as my patient four days a week for the last 18 years, and I'm kind to every single one of them because I believe you reap what you sow. 
kindness is free, give it to everyone. Aw, and then I had responded back to her and I said, this brought tears to my eyes, thank you, my friend. And she wrote, you are so welcome. Your Instagram and YouTube channel are my favorite places to be. There truly needs to be more people like you in this world. Um, it's so true, everyone. I think that just because someone believes something differently than you or has a different point of view or perspective, it does not mean or it does not give you the right to disregard them, to ignore their presence, and to treat them in any way other than kind. I think the reason we're seeing so much turmoil in our world currently is because we have become all about which side you're on. At the end of the day, we are all people. We are all hideously flawed. And we just have to do better. That's it. We just have to do better. Um... So I encourage you to like get out of your own way and get out of that mindset that if someone thinks differently than you or believes differently than you, that like not only do you not have to be kind to them, but they can't be a friend and they can't be a part of your life. I want to go to bed knowing that I was a good person to everyone, not just the people who agreed with me. And what people choose to do with that or say about that, that says a lot more about them than it says about me. So with that, I'm going to end this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind, even if they don't agree with you. Until next time, which is tomorrow. Bye-bye.